When deciding between wide marketplaces, niche sites, and local platforms, keep fees and convenience in mind. Determine the best location for your items before selling them online to get extra money. Here are some of the most popular online markets, together with information about their target demographic, design, and pricing. 1. Bonanza Bonanza offers a similar selection of products to Amazon and eBay. It assesses fees depending on the item's sale price plus any portion of the delivery cost that exceeds $10. So, if you sold an item for $20 and charged $13 for shipping, your fee would be $23. Bonanza takes 3.5% of the price, so you'd pay around $0.80 cents in our scenario. A minimum fee of $0.50 cents per item applies. You pay 3.5% on the first $500 and 1.5% on the amount beyond $500 for things that sell for $500 or more. In exchange for a greater percentage fee, Bonanza will also publicize your listing across the internet. 2. Amazon On Amazon, you can sell almost anything, however some specialist categories require Amazon approval and an upgraded selling plan. Depending on the type of selling plan you have, Amazon charges a variety of fees on things sold. You'll pay Amazon 99 cents per item sold plus a referral fee if you choose the regular individual selling plan. The referral fee is a percentage of the total sale price of the item, including shipping costs, but excluding taxes, and typically runs from 8% to 20%. If you're selling media items like books, movies, or video games, you'll also have to pay a $1.80 closing charge. You must pay a $39.99 monthly subscription cost for the improved professional selling plan, but you do not have to pay $0.99 cents per item like you do with the individual plan. As a result, the professional plan is only worthwhile if you expect to sell more than 40 goods per month. 3. Poshmark Poshmark is a men's, women's, and children's clothes, as well as other commodities, online sales, and social network hybrid. Its fee structure is straightforward. All transactions under $15 will incur a $2.95 fee, while sales of $15 or over will incur a 20% cost. Poshmark only $7.11 for expedited delivery, so all you have to do is print a prepaid shipping label, package your items, and send them off. 4. eBay eBay allows you to auction and sell a wide range of items and offers a fee system that is slightly less complicated than Amazon's. In most cases, you pay eBay 10% of the item's final sale price, which includes shipping but excludes taxes. If you list more than 50 goods in a month, eBay will charge you 30 cents per listing after that. For a price, you can also improve and market your eBay listing in a variety of ways. For example, you might wish to set a reserve price to ensure that your item sells for at least that amount. The fee to set a reserve price is $5 or 7.5% of the reserve price, whichever is greater, with a maximum fee of $250 for most product categories. Whether or not your item sells, you will be charged this cost. 5. Etsy Etsy is the place to go if you want to sell your handmade arts and crafts or vintage collectibles. You must pay 20 cents to list an item, and then a 5% transaction charge on the item's sale price, excluding shipping. You'll be charged an extra 3% plus 25 cents if you utilize Etsy payments to execute your purchase. 6. Ruby Lane a $54 monthly maintenance charge is required to list up to 50 things for sale on Ruby Lane. If you have more than that, add a penny to 30 cents each item. A service fee of 6.7% of the entire purchase is also charged by Ruby Lane. Before you go into Ruby Lane, make sure you have a solid idea of how much you'll be able to recuperate in maintenance and service fees. 7. Craigslist Facebook Marketplace, let go. Although these websites and apps don't necessarily take a share of your purchases, you're still in charge of connecting with your buyer, meeting in person, and completing the transaction. It's unmistakably different from online auctions and sales. 
You should generally stick to online only if you're not comfortable managing all of the logistics yourself and then meeting up with a stranger. You can meet your buyer in a public place. Many local police stations offer a safe haven for such sales or have a buddy wait for you while you make the sale, depending on what you're selling. The idea here is simplicity, no shipping, no fees, just cash in your hand. These marketplaces, unlike many online-only sales sites, do not offer any assurances or protections if your buyer turns out to be a jerk. 8. Swappa, Glide, Gazelle These websites are more like resellers than marketplaces. On your smartphone, laptop, or tablet, they provide you with a quote, which you then transmit to them. In essence, the sites are comparable, so you may compare quotations from each and get the best deal. You'll almost certainly get a lower price for your devices than you would if you sold them yourself on eBay. The allure of these sites is how simple it is to obtain instant cash for your devices rather than having them sit in your drawer collecting dust. That's it for today. As always thank you for watching, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos.